So hey guys, I just got a request from WUR5TY, I'm not sure how you pronounce it, so I'm just going to spell it out for you, to include the real-time data like the speed, altitude, heading and vertical speed, yeah, that, that, those values, um, to be included in the Arduino library. So that's what I've been doing the past few hours. So this is going to be released today, you're going to find the link in the comments down below. If you liked it, please leave a like and if you want to keep updated, subscribe. And if you want a video dedicated to you, just leave in the comments a feature that you would like and I will see if it's possible to implement this in the Arduino library. So have fun. If you have any questions, leave them in the comments and I'll get back to you as soon as possible. So one thing I forgot to mention in the video is that the heading comes in as radiant data. So it doesn't come in as degrees. And if you want to convert radians to degrees, you have to multiply it by 180 divided by pi. And because pi is quite a huge number, I have to find a sweet spot so that the rounding of my program matches the rounding of the in-game used values. So right now it's possible that the heading is at 320 on your screen, while on the LCD screen it's at 390. And that could be because on the LCD screen the equation comes out to 319. 0.2745 and it would round it down while the game would round it up. So I'm still looking for the sweet spot on that value and I will get back to you when I found it and I fixed it. So it's just something to keep in mind. It's accurate, it's not 100% bulletproof accurate. So I've included the LCD screen in the upper right corner of the screen so you can follow along with what is happening. And you can see that there are several values already loaded in and that's because I already started the program. So if we start up, the first things we see is the current speed. So it's going to be zero because we are standing still. It's going to be the heading. Then we have the current altitude. It's going to be a minus value because we're in Amsterdam and it's below sea level. We have a ground speed GPS value. I'm not quite sure what this value does. Um, so I included it, but I need to find out if it's even relevant. And then we have the current vertical speed. So if you go up, down, this value will change. Now let's take a look if we take a flight on how it actually will handle itself. So we're departing from Amsterdam. I think I've got live weather enabled. Let me, yeah, it looks quite similar. And we can already see the values changing. Now it's important to note that it changes on intervals. This means that the speed only gets updated when it changes two knots instead of every every knot or even a, like one third of a knot, then it would change originally. But I had to scale that down to every two knots to make sure that the Arduino could handle data coming in or else it would get overloaded. We can actually tell if it's getting overloaded. If we hit pause, you could see the 20 still being handled coming in. If there would be a, too big of a backlog, we would still see the data keep getting updated on the LCT screen, even if you pause the game. So the data will keep coming in, but you will keep sending in new data from the game before the LCD can update. And then you get just a backlog until you stable out again. In normal flight, this won't be an issue. The only time when I managed to still get those overloads was when I did some weird maneuvers, maneuvers, maneuvers. Like if I hit pause now, see, you could still see that for a second, the values change. Now it could get really obvious if I made a looping. Oh, I don't have the speed, perhaps now. Oh boy, this is going wrong. But let's hit pause. See, because it's, it still keeps updating because it couldn't handle the overload in data. And it's quite it's going to take quite a while. It's leveled out. And now it should just work as expected. Here we go. See, and we've hit pause again. It's all stable. So it works if you do perhaps an emergency landing. I can't guarantee, guarantee it's pretty up to date. So as long as you're not going to be stunt flying, it's accurate. Accurate enough. 
like I said, if it indicates you're at uh, flying at 99 knots, it's a possibility that the screen will say you're at 100 knots. So that's only something to keep in mind that if you want to be really, really precise that you should go on the data on the screen. It does match, it just, it's possible that it still hasn't hit the threshold. Same goes for the altitude. I think it gets updated every, ten, yeah, every 10 feet, 10 feet, not 10 meters, 10 feet. So every 10 feet you drop or ascend, the data gets updated on the screen. This could, this could also be increased just to give it a more, bit more stability because these are the values that change the most when you do quick dives or fast pull-ups. Let's see. Yeah, but it, it, it's even if you do stuff like this, it's quite accurate. So as long as you aren't a mad lad going around the air, which I don't think you will be playing this game, then perhaps you will be playing Ace Combat or something. Uh, but that's just me judging. Perhaps you still like to play this game and do crazy stuff. Feel free to. I mean, it's your game. You bought it. But just know that today that can be a little bit more inaccurate if we start doing that. But as you might see, I haven't found any issues with it so far. Now the heading is something I need to tweak still to make sure that it's the most accurate. And that's the thing about this, it's a work in progress. So now we've got this in and now we're going to smooth this out. So once again, this morning, I believe, not even 10 hours ago, somebody asked on YouTube in one of my comments to include these data and I've already implemented it. So if you have any suggestions yourself or you want a video dedicated to you because you had such a bright idea, Leave them down in the comments below and perhaps I'm able to implement them quite quickly. Uh, we'll never know. And here you go, especially if you're just flying like, like a normal pilot would, or I don't know if no pilot would fly like this, but you know, don't do crazy stuff. See, it's all, it's all fine. Now, how does this look in code? Shall we go over that first before we say goodbye to each other? Let's go to the, yeah, here we go. This is the same code that's available in the example file. So if you go to file, examples, and then go to examples, go to bits, droids, flight connector, you will have the LCD.com Leonardo Micro or the LCD.com Uno Mega, depends on which one you're using. You can, you can find five new one, two, three, four, five, yeah, five new functions. Get indicated airspeed, get indicated altitude, get indicated heading, get indicated GPS ground speed. Once again, I have no clue what this is. And get the true vertical speed. So it works just as before. Check out one of my older videos if you want to get a full update on how to implement this and use this. I will also link this down in the description down below. Just know that you now have five new functions. I will also put this in the release notes so you can just look at those if you want to implement this in your own solution at a later point. So I hope I informed you enough. You had to enjoy my beautiful takeoff. If you have any suggestions, let me know. If you liked it, leave a like. And if you want to keep updated, subscribe. And I'll see you in the next one.